What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday fun day. Time for your morning fishing report. Left the dock this morning. It was chilly. On the roadside of my house, there was a little bit of frost on the pumpkin. On the, li on the river side of my house, it was moisture. 37 degrees. I left the house at 630, 645-ish. Um, sorry, I'm trying to not have that sun right in your guys' face. Uh, about 645, I got out here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning. It's just spectacular. I, I filmed quite a bit of it. Um, I actually didn't get out here as, as early as I would have liked to out out here because I spent so much time in there um, in there filming. So, but it was worth it. And considering what I've done so far, didn't really matter. Uh, I have surface temps of 55.3. This very same area we fished yesterday, Scott and I, and it was 56, 56 and change, 56.2. So, that, that, that cold air last night, um, you know, it doesn't take long to chill it off. You're right, you're right on the fringe, you know, it, uh, but it's, it's fluctuating within a couple degrees here right now every day. We supposedly have a big cold front coming, um, sometime middle to end of next week. You know, they're, it's funny, the weather nowadays talks about all these things like they've never happened before. Um. You know, naming snowstorms. Listen, we're from upstate New York. Snowstorms are a way of life. You know, we don't name them. You'd run out of names. What do you do? Name a storm every time you get a foot of lake effect? So, anyway. I've had uh, two little perch and one barely keeper walleye. He was a lot of fun, though. Because I was, I've been, and I've thrown everything at him this morning. I came to that same outer weed line, and now because the winds have gone a little bit more south in it, I've favored the North Shore today. Although I fished that same area as yesterday morning, again this morning, without a touch. I moved farther east on that same weed line um, into the wind because it's an east wind, southeast wind blowing. And my first cast, boom, popped one. So I should have maybe went that way more. But whatever, I'm at the end of my morning. I got things to do, and um, so not a big deal. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Yesterday, that solar lunar table said poor, and it wasn't. Today, it says poor, and for me, it seems to be. Uh, like I say, I went through everything because. We had a really nice mix of smallmouth and walleyes in there yesterday, which was, it's like heaven for me. And when they're both actively feeding in the same areas, I love setting the hook and the difference in the bites and, and, and all that stuff. And, and I threw all my A-game stuff this morning. Started out with a blade and then another blade and then a third blade, all three different, either different makes and models or different colors. Then I went to that Rapala Rip and Wrap, which I'm actually throwing right now. Then I went to a Chatterbait that I was fishing deep. Then I went to the A-Rig, which I fished the whole water column, top to bottom. Um, then I fished a Jerkbait in three different colors and styles. Um, I set up my ultra light finesse swim bait rod, seven and a half footer, uh, six pound test monofilament, straight mono. Uh, you can cast it a country mile. Um, so I ran Kitex on that, which is my preferred swim bait of choice, and nothing. And I was from 14 to 17 feet of water. I made that move, came a little bit farther east, and like I said, I hit that walleye first cast on a that was on a rot jaw blade. It was the same color as 
if Scott was using yesterday, except the lead head part of it was lead color, as opposed to painted like Scott's was. I don't know if that was making the difference, why I was not getting the monstrous bites like he got on that yesterday. I don't know. Um, and that's been it. And since then, I've cycled through four more baits. Um, three of my good color I ones. Uh, now I've got the whip and wrap back again. And, oh, I threw a, um, I threw in the mix there, I threw three different, I threw a Nils Master Jig and Shad. I threw a two different color Jig and Wrap and a Shiver Minnow. And no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Like Maverick says in Top Gun, or whoever does, no joy. No joy. No joy. I shouldn't say that. I, I Still, I'm telling you, that sunrise that I filmed this morning was just epic. Just pow. It's the coolest thing ever. So, I guess I don't matter... I guess I don't mind that if on a day where I had that great of an experience, the fishing is lackluster. It evens itself out, right? Would you rather stay consistent or would you rather have lots of peaks and valleys? Oh, I crushed him today. I went four days without a bite. I crushed him today and I really crushed him yet, you know, the next day. And then I had four or five days where I was the south end of a northbound cow answer uh we'll do a con uh we'll do a giveaway we'll do stickers give we'll do sticker giveaways um i'll pick three people tell me which you'd rather be consistent on the good side or lots of highs or lows you you would take the super high but you got to endure the super low or would you rather have things even out positively answer have a great sunday fun day thanks everybody love you guys keep your tip up